Hello everybody, Don't Blink here again with another Battlefield 3 gameplay commentary for you guys. Today I've got some TDM footage on Karg Island and I'm using the engineer kit with the Scar H. I wanted to post this footage because I get a couple nice little kill streaks here at the beginning. Plus, my Scar H has uh, the cool Battlefield Premium camo on it. I really like this one, I think it looks really cool. And I know some of you haven't seen uh, all of the camos that were included in Battlefield Premium so far. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you. So anyway, today I'm going to be doing a question and answer session. So these questions were all uh, sent to me on Twitter. I'm taking them in the order that they arrived. And uh, some of them are probably pretty silly because I did kind of glance at them before I started this video. So anyway, let's begin. First up, we have the Ghost 6 asking, why you no sing the blues? Um, that's uh, a reference to a video I did a while back where I was protesting Sopa and Pipa. And uh, yeah, I, don't, I didn't sing the blues because my, uh, my video got taken down because of Sopa and Pipa. Evan Thompson asks, are you a fan of the Mass Effect series? I am kind of like a, an approving bystander or spectator of sorts. My girlfriend really loves RPGs and Mass Effect is one of the series that she really enjoys playing and talking about. So she's always telling me about everything that's happening uh, while she's playing, and she's played through them all like several, several times, so um, you know, I know a lot of what happens in those games, and I know a lot about kind of how those games work and their gameplay mechanics and stuff like that, so I'd say that I'm a, a secret admirer of the Mass Effect series. I did play the first one almost to completion, but never got around to finishing it and uh, never went back to it, so yeah. Matt Flanagan asks, what is your favorite snack? Um, favorite snack, that's a good one. I don't really, you know, I don't really snack too much. I just have lots and lots of entrees throughout the day. Um, but I really like Cliff Builders Bars. I don't know how many of you uh, have access to those or have tried those, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure they're for people who go to the gym a lot, but that's I'm not one of those people, <laughs> unfortunately. But I do really enjoy just like the taste of those. They're basically candy bars, but I can say that they're kind of good for me because they include a lot of protein. Uh, Robert Visser, R10 Visser, asks, Is there any chance for me to get in your commentary? Not in this one, unfortunately. Sorry. Uh, DAVMC214 asks, were you at E3? If so, what games impressed you the most? I was not at E3. I did go last year, but I uh, did not get invited this year, unfortunately. But I'm not so sure I would have gone if I had been invited, because it does cost money. And uh, the thing is, especially recently, E3 has become a bit of a spectator sport. You can stay at home and keep up to date on the vast majority of the news and games that are coming out of E3. So, I don't think I really missed all that much not going this year. I really didn't get to play all that many games last year, and I spent so much time just uh, going to and from the convention center and waiting in lines that I probably would have been more productive last year had I, you know, not gone. So, um, my favorite game that came out of E3 was definitely The Last of Us. That really, really impressed me. Uh, just the footage that they showed and... And just everything about it was super polished, and I've always been a fan of Naughty Dog's games. Pacer asks, what did you do for work before going full-time with YouTube? Well, I was a student, basically, up until the point I decided to do YouTube as a, a serious thing. <laughs> I still consider YouTube to be my hobby. It just happens to pay my bills, so... Um, you know, I did have some jobs before I started doing YouTube, uh, none of them full-time or anything like that, but in high school, I worked at my parents' shop. They owned a, a flooring store, um, and I would help them out in the office and in the warehouse. I would, you know, lift stuff because tile and stone are both very, very heavy. Um, and then I would also help with some of the accounting duties and cleaning up, and I, uh, I was basically the, the jack-of-all-trades of the office, so... That was a, a really good experience. I learned a lot from doing that, and it eventually led to me becoming a, a general contractor's assistant. Um, I finished up high school, 
and it was the summer after my senior year and I needed to earn some cash because I needed a computer for college and I didn't have a computer of my own just yet. So I busted my butt that summer in like 100 plus degree heat. Obviously that's Fahrenheit. Um, just ripping out floors, tarring them, just doing all sorts of really terrible things. Ruined my back, <laughs> totally beat myself up. But I earned enough money to get myself a computer and it ended up being a, a great learning experience. I also worked as an ACLU political canvasser for about two weeks before I quit that because that is just like an awful awful job but yeah that's why I'm so happy with YouTube it's just because all of the jobs that I've had previously uh, that weren't you know me working for my parents were really really terrible um, either physically or mentally and emotionally so yeah that's it for this video sorry I didn't get to more questions but I hope you guys enjoyed uh, listening to me ramble and uh, talk about my answers and such. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.